we're returning back to our, our origins. We've been somewhat removed, if not a lot removed and insulated. And there's been a great forgetting. And maybe some of us or a lot of us find ourselves more as human doing rather than human being. And I, I don't know if this is so much the same in the UK, Europe, but unfortunately it, it is one in here in the United States is that for some of us, unfortunately, life has been reduced as far as its meaning, its purpose to merely that of death and taxes. If that's the case for some people, I, I don't know about you, but for me, that's a living hell. It sets the stage for unmarshaled turbulence because if no one who are in positions of power are willing to tackle some of the issues, I don't want to get into the whole political arena here, but if they don't tackle some of these issues that are felt at ground level, because I still see there is that old hierarchical structure that abounds in our societies either kiss up or you get kicked down, then there will be violence on the streets. Then there will be people who can't take it anymore. And we're already seeing that with suicides and drug use and all the rest of it. There has to be transactional leadership. It's necessary, but it's limited as a form of governance. Sure, got to be rooted in the material world, got to be focused on maintaining order and stability. However, leadership must transcend the purely transactional and strive for a much higher ideal of one that cultivates virtue, wisdom, and the pursuit of truth.